are back and talking again with Joey Swearingen. He is the dean of the school here. So many good opportunities that we've been learning from talking with the others. And now we're going to talk about surgical technician a little more with you. Yeah, surgical technology degree, um, probably when I came, was the one I felt like I knew the least about. Okay. Um, so to give a little background, it's um, they're the... the the right hand man to the surgeon. Yeah. Um, and they, they're involved kind of in all aspects of the surgery from preoperative care and sterile processing of, of the equipment um, to inoperative care. Um, you know, they have to know the procedures yeah. in detail because they need to anticipate the surgeon's needs almost. Um, yeah. This is then, pretty serious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then post operative care as well. So, you know, um, surgery is a, a completely different ball game. One of our faculty always says that he's the one program that doesn't have to work with people that are awake. Um, but um, but you do, you're in there with the surgeon, you know, I said, what what degree can you get that you have a two-year degree and you get to be heavily involved in the surgery, whereas yeah. a surgeon might be 12 or 14 years of, of training to do that. So yeah, um, yeah and then post-operative care as well is kind of breaking everything down and, and sterilizing. So how do your courses work? Like just walk us through the start to finish, because like you said, this is a lot to learn in a short amount of time. Yeah, so um, the nice thing about Surge Tech is a lot of the information is kind of uh, built upon itself. So you're taking all those courses of the different aspects of the surgery you need and, and learning the different surgeries themselves. Um, like all our health programs, they have a lab that basically simulates um, a surgical room. Wow. Right? And so they can practice safely. Um, they also, kind of like PTA with the anatomage table, they also recently got a device called the LAPSIM, mm -hmm. which stands for laparoscopy simulator. Um, so any laparoscopic surgery, like removing gallstones or the gallbladder, it's oh, actually wow. a simulator where you can control and, and students can work and fine tune those skills. That's really um, interesting. Yeah, I think we're the first school in South Carolina that to Wow, have that, that is really interesting. So literally getting some practical experience <laughs> for sure. And uh, we were talking with the others about Employment in this area is great. Uh, we've got a range between, you know, young population to elderly population. So there are opportunities. We have lots of hospitals, lots of private care. What kind of places might they be able to seek employment besides a hospital? Of yeah, I mean, well, most of it's going to be in some sort of surgical center, whether mm -hmm. there are some outpatient centers. Um, but it's going to be in some sort of surgical center because you're in the surgery. Yeah. Um, probably might be one of the more consistent hourly jobs you have because usually okay. surgeries are set unless you're in a major trauma unit where they, they rotate schedules just to be able to cover anything that comes sure. in. Um, but, you know, the, the nice thing is you're, you're part of that team, that surgery team, and it's, um, you know, your employment, it's kind of any health profession, I would say, kind of builds where maybe, you know, it, it starts lower. And so surgery, surge tech is in this transition from, you know, a lot of programs used to be a diploma, okay. and now they're moving into an associate degree minimum required. And so with that, I think you're seeing w with the employment practices, you're starting to see those uh, expected salaries kind of come up comparable to our other associate programs. So here at TCL, just mm -hmm. to recap again, you can get a two-year associate's degree. Mm -hmm. uh, that can get you a good start in the field. And as we were saying in the first segment, a lot of times you can go back to get a bachelor's and your employer likely will cut the yeah, cost cover for, you. for yeah. a lot of our programs mm -hmm. too and for search tech the, the nice thing is it's similar to um, the radiologic technology program that okay. we just had um, in that specialization is there too so you could kind of do oh, general right. surgery or you can go into specialize in orthopedic surgeries or neurologic surgeries and things like that yeah. so you have the ability to kind of um, fine-tune your skills I guess too. and is there an opportunity to sort of explore, try out what you might like and say, I, I really feel comfortable in pediatrics or maybe, you know, other type of surgeries. How does, how does one determine that? Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of, um, a lot of it comes from the schooling, like just like other programs, we're going to have the clinical rotation. So they're going to get okay. experience and, and part of their accreditation requirement is they have to have experience, um, as like kind of a first scrub, they call it in, um, in different types of surgery. So it's not, mm -hmm. you know, you don't meet the accreditation requirements if you've gone in and done one type of surgery the entire time right, through your sure. career. So you have to meet certain requirements of, of different types of surgery. So you kind of get that experience to have a gauge when, of when you graduate, what setting would you like to work in? You know, healthcare is in need, the jobs are there. Mm -hmm. um, if you're passionate about, you know, healthcare, helping people, it's definitely a great profession. Um, like we said, the jobs are there, the pay is good, especially for a two-year degree. And kind of just as in regards to TCL, like we talked before, is, you know, I think we're at $214 a credit hour. You're not going to find that 
yeah. um, at any four-year school, let alone many of the two-year schools. So mm -hmm. the price is, is can't be beat. And as we wrap up, we'll mention that you get to be in Beaufort, South Carolina. Right. It's absolutely beautiful. We've got the water across the street, the marsh behind us. So the quality of life is amazing. So we appreciate you sharing all of this great information about TCL. I know that they can get a hold of you on the website. There'll be information on our screen. So we thank you for your time today. Thank you very much. And we thank you for watching 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Mm -hmm.